Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about Elon Musk and the Twitter deal. I've talked about it a bunch, but <clears throat> I just have a good time speculating on what I think is going to happen with the whole Twitter deal. So let's read this article. I'll share some of my thoughts as we go on. Twitter will comply with Elon Musk's data demands, reportedly giving him access to firehose of 500 million daily tweets. Elon Musk may be about to get more da data from Twitter than he knows what to do with. Twitter board's Twitter's board of directors, after resisting Musk's demand for data backing up its claims about spam and bots accounts, represents less than 5% of daily active users, has decided to change course. The Washington Post reported, citing an anonym anonymous source, Familiar with the company's thinking. Musk this week threatened to call off his $44 billion offer to acquire Twitter over the issue. In a letter to the company, his lawyer said, Twitter's refusal to provide data about spam and fake accounts represents a material breach of their agreement. Now, in an effort to close the deal, Twitter will offer and his team assess... At, <laughs> Twitter will offer Musk and his team access to its full fire hose of raw data from the social platform, which includes 500 million plus tweets posted daily. As early as this week, the Post reported. When Musk, when Musk inked the deal to buy deal in April to buy Twitter, he waived his right to conduct deep due diligence on the company's operation. Musk is on the hook to pay a $1 billion breakup fee if he walks away from the deal and could be the target of lawsuits by Twitter shareholders or Twitter itself. Unless he can demonstrate that Twitter significantly misled about factors related to the company's value, Wall Street has viewed Musk's saber, say, saber rattling over the spam bot percentage as an attempt to drive down the deal price or to give him a pretext to nix the acquisition. Third-party researchers have lent credence to Musk's skepticism about Twitter's sub-5% claim. Um, look, I'll add in here because I'm just i going to go on and then I'll tell you what I think about uh, Musk's deal. I'm telling you right now, the 5% that Twitter claims, I have no expertise in tech. Uh, I quit Twitter because I just discovered that the entire website is pointless I don't understand the purpose of Twitter anymore. I mean, the company's not profitable. Um, I don't understand people's fascination with it. You know, you had some of the guys in the conservative space talking about how Twitter is a town square. All right, my response to that is, is it really? Because I really don't care what goes on on Twitter. I think the site is stupid. Like, what do you do? You're posting your inane opinions online. And in a world where if you don't quite share whatever the uh, popular opinion is about whatever subject, people will actively try to dox you, get you fired from your job. So again, I don't see what the point of Twitter is. It was fun when it started out, but then it just turned into a woke ideological company that was unprofitable. So who cares? Because the company would have went out of business eventually. All right, let's go back. But I'm just saying with that, I don't in any way think 5% is accurate. I think I'm not going to sit here and, and even pretend to put a number on it. But I would not be surprised if 15, 20% 30% of Twitter was actually bots. It wouldn't surprise me at all. As for, as for a comment, Twitter spokesman pointed to the company's previous statement issued money. Monday, Twitter has and will continue to cooperative, cooperatively share information with Mr. Musk to, con, to consummate the transaction in accordance with the terms of the merger agreement. Twitter said... In the June 6th statement, we believe this agreement is in the best interest of the shareholders. Consummate is the word I was looking for. And 
If you want to make fun of me for mispronouncing that word, go ahead. I'm exhausted. I keep saying that. I have been for the past three months, so I make stupid mistakes. With must to consummate the transaction. Okay. All right. Um, what I'm going to say is, what I'm going to say about Twitter is this, in Elon Musk. I think, without a doubt, Elon is trying to get out of the deal. I don't in any way understand. See, I think originally what Elon was going to do was I think what he really wanted was to expose Twitter for the fakery and the bias that it has. And then because he's Elon Musk, I honestly don't think he thought this out very well. Because if I, I, if I was Elon Musk, how would I have done this deal? All right, we'll go with Elon has the same intention that I just laid out. I would have demanded access to everything, shuttered the deal, and then went public with what I knew, if I'm allowed to legally. Musk's got the best lawyers, so he could figure that out. But instead, the way he went about it, and again, I don't know what the exact rules are. I don't know if Twitter can compel Musk to buy it. I, like, I, like I said, I wasn't there at the deal. I don't know what was signed there. No, we're mostly, to say that you know what the deal is, unless you've actually read the deal, and I don't know if that's available online, and to be perfectly honest with you, I don't really care about Twitter enough to actually want to put any research into that. Because like I said, this is a crap, unprofitable company with my everything money software probably needs to be logged out of and then re-logged back into because I was going to show, you know, what some of the, the numbers on Twitter are. But, you know... I don't really care because last time I looked, it was unprofitable or it was barely profitable. It's massively overvalued. So what I think is going on here is I think Musk is in a desperate situation. You know, he's going to lose a billion dollars if he walks away from the deal. Now, you can sit out there and say, well, I mean, what's a billion dollars to Elon Musk? A lot of money. That's what a billion dollars is to everybody. A billion dollars is a lot of money. If I had $300, million, $300 billion, I would still be upset if I just lost a billion dollars, not in the fluctuation of the price of my assets, but I had to pay a billion dollars to walk away from a crap deal. I, 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 don't, I don't care. It's a lot of money. And if you think that like a billionaire sitting around doesn't think a billion's a lot of money, you're wrong. Because most of their wealth is tied up in their assets anyways. Most of them, billionaires don't have a hundred billion dollars sitting around in cash. So in order for Elon Musk, if he were to sell all his stock, whatever Elon is allegedly worth right now, if he were to sell all of his stock to redeem that cash, the share price would drop precipitously. So, you know, to sit here and say, oh, well, Elon doesn't really care about money. Yeah, you. I hate when people say this. I hate when people make this statement. If you don't care about money, you're a moron. And all of the people that say they don't care about money are already rich. And what they mean by that is, they don't care about the amount of money that's a lot of money to a normal person because they have so much money. I remember reading this article years ago about how Lady they said Lady Gaga just doesn't care about money. And I was like, Lady Gaga has like $200 million. She doesn't need to care about money that is a big deal to an average person. If you have $200 million, $10,000 is not a lot of money. To me, that's a lot of money, okay? You know, it's not, $10,000 isn't the amount of money to me that 
I'm going to go into work and take a dump on my boss's desk tomorrow. But it's still a pretty good chunk of change I had to put into my house this year. And I was not happy about it. But, you know, I, I just think, I think if you really dug in to, I think the one saving grace for Elon being able to walk away without being sued is I think if he can prove that Twitter was just massively fraudulent in stating, overstating the amount of users they have, I think he's got a pretty good shot. But again, I, I just like keeping track of this deal because I don't understand it. I don't understand what the point of what Elon was doing, if anything other than trolling. And if he was trolling with a billion dollars, and he really doesn't care, which I think he does care about a billion dollars, good on him. But Twitter is a crap company, and that it, it there is nothing you can do to turn around Twitter. What are you going to do to turn it around financially? I mean, really give me an honest idea that you think, like in the comments, put, you know, I don't care, crap, make a joke about it if you want to, but... Do any of you really think you're going to take what is honestly a crappier version of Facebook where people just argue incessantly about identity politics and you're going to what? You're going to put a, you're going to charge a, a subscription for what? What am I getting in there? What, a, what am I getting in the subscription? I can read tweets on Google. I don't even have to have a membership or uh, uh, I don't even have to have I don't even have to have a Twitter handle I can still type in Joe Rogan on Twitter and then read whatever he has to say like oh I'm curious what are Joe Rogan's concert dates oh that's great I can go to a website so again what is the point of Twitter I, I haven't got this I don't understand why anybody would buy shares in this company and I don't understand why Elon Musk is doing this other than I, I don't know why Elon does a lot of things. But anyways, like and subscribe or don't and I'm out.